the, the disaster at the Mount Polly mine that happened two years ago is part of the second gold rush in our territory. And where the, um, the, the, the tailings dam broke, it was built too high, it wasn't uh, secured well enough, the engineering was, uh, they were, they were, there were a lot of problems that uh, the, the, um, uh, the investigations have revealed and the problems had to deal with engineering, putting profits before safety, um, you know, the government uh, laws weren't uh, strong enough to, to deal with all of the things that were happening. And so um, 26 billion liters of mining waste were released into the environment. The tailings came down um, on the mountain, and in this area, it's an interior rainforest, so it's a very special um, ecological place within our territory, and there are things there that we can't get anywhere else. In the middle of this dry forest, we have cedar trees and devil's club and abundance of fresh water in the mountains. In the springtime, rivers create coming down the mountains from the runoff from the snow, and so it's a very unique place. And when this disaster happened, that entire watershed was compromised from the, the mine waste that came down. And the government response was to dismiss it and to minimize it and to say that it was little more than it was uh, similar to a, an avalanche that happened everywhere. And that the water, you know, once the tailings settled, would be perfectly fine to drink. And they had all of these things and, and people in the area were devastated. In our communities, it was like a death because we knew the importance and the value of that area, and we're still connected to that area. It's where we hunt, it's where the salmon, it's a nursery for the salmon in the river. Um, there's tons of medicines out there. And um, all of the elders talk about Wenuch. Wenuch is the, the mountain huckleberries that grow there, that don't grow anywhere else. And they say, that's our gold. That's the gold in the mountains, is the Wenuch. And so the impacts that came from this you know, a lot of the, the damage is still unknown because it takes so long for that to really fully understand. And the government and the company response is, everything's okay, it's fine, don't worry about it, you know. The lake is so big, it'll, it'll dilute it that you don't even have to worry about it. And so that's not good enough for us. And so we've been speaking out about, you know, wanting to know more, are the salmon safe to eat? The salmon are such a critical component of, of our culture Everything in the summertime revolves around the salmon. You know, we're, we're going as families down to the river. We fish at night on the rocks in this, these canyons. It's very dangerous. Um, but it's also a great time of excitement. And the community comes together and the families are there. And this, this whole traditional lifestyle is getting, it's getting more and more difficult to live. And as a result, our children have never fished on the Fraser River because of the impacts from mining, the impacts from overlogging, the impacts from pulp mills and um, the mines discharging directly into the Fraser River. And people don't know this, and it's important that you know, and I'm so excited that so many of you are here today.